Hi, darling. Are you going to be Lisa's little helper? What? Me? A grand mage? That was a long time ago. I'm just a humble librarian now. <laughs> Don't worry, darling. I'll take very good care of you. So, it's nearly time for afternoon tea. Why not keep me company for a while? There'll be plenty of time for work later. Today's no good for going out. Hmm, did I say that yesterday as well? Ah, <sighs> perfect weather for sipping a cup of tea while gazing out the window. When I practice my spells in weather like this, I can do half the work for double the impact. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Such a calming breeze. Perfect for taking a nap, don't you think? Oh, good morning, Jean. Oh, it's you. Sorry, dear. Hmm, it must almost be time for a nap. You're still up? I'm getting sleepy. I can see how hard you've been working today. Let me think of a way to reward you. I'm not lazy. I just know to save my energy for when I need it most. I can be your teacher, your master, or your friend. Or all three if you want. Let me show you a thing or two, lest we let your efforts go to waste. <laughs> Wait, one last thing. A kiss on the forehead from master to follower. Now you're my star pupil. Visions? Ah, they're a necessary device in controlling the elements, with you being the sole exception, of course. Hmm, as for why that is, perhaps we can find the time to experiment a little. Feel free to use the alchemists upstairs from the library whenever you want, but make sure you knock first. We wouldn't want you seeing anything you're not supposed to now, would we? Calla lilies are a medicinal flower with antidotal properties. With them in hand, there's no need to worry about the side effects of any potions. <laughs> Jean is a gifted and dedicated leader. Seeing how hard she works makes even me want to help her out. Amber was just a young girl when she joined the Knights, and in the blink of an eye, she's turned into such a strong young lady. I'm curious to see what she'll be like a few years from now. Have you heard Barbara sing before? Her angelic voice contains a magical healing energy. A different kind of magical energy from the one in my potions, of course. I wonder which one you prefer. You want to know about D. Luke? <laughs> in that case, I know someone else you should talk to. Come on, Razor. That's it. Good boy. Let's do some combat practice. I found you the perfect partner. Hey, come back! Last time little Clee wanted to use my workshop for her experiments, I had to say no, and she was angry at me for the rest of the day. <sighs> what happened the next day, you ask? She went off happily to play outside, of course. Asked Mona, she seems to be an excellent mage, but I'm not a part of their hexen circle. The idea of ermensal exploration and formal tea parties just leaves me cold. Albedo is quite the alchemist. Just say the word and he'll come up with a good solution. He's easy on the eyes, too. Just like you. Fischl. Yes, she's always in the library looking to borrow fantasy novels. She always returns her books three days early and looks after them very well. She's a good kid. Every time I ask Noel to dust off the bookshelves, I'm always left with the sense that the more exhausted I make her, the happier she becomes. Yes, who knows what's going on with her? <laughs> Try not to bother Sucrose if you're at a loose end. You'll only startle the poor girl. She's gifted at interacting with all sorts of exotic creatures. Just hopeless when it comes to humans. I've barely kept in touch with anyone from the academia since leaving Sumeru, except for the occasional letters to my teachers out of basic courtesy. Fortunately, not every promising student turned out as lazy as I am. I heard that one of my juniors, Sino, now leads quite the action-packed life. Ah, oh, dear little Kale. Every time she writes to me, she tries out new words and expressions she's learned recently. <laughs> no wonder she's improving so quickly. 
That wonderful and warm-hearted master of hers must have helped a lot, too. I do rather envy Huffman for having such a caring little brother. Mika takes care of everything around the house, and even looks after him when he's drunk. Oh, how nice it must be to lounge around all day without a care in the world. Hmm? What do you mean I already do that? You're getting quite bold these days, aren't you, cutie? So, which element would you like to learn about today? My past? So, you want to get to know me a little better, huh? <laughs> That's a story for another day, but I'm touched that you asked. When I taught Razor how to utilize elemental energy, I never expected him to master the technique so quickly. Come to think of it, you're talented too. Maybe I could teach you a few tricks. What's that? You want to learn some Sumeru Academia magic? I'm afraid it might be a bit too much for you to handle right now. Hmm, though I suppose it can't hurt to teach you some of the basics. Here, start by reading the beginner's guide. It's only 800 pages or so. A vision may seem like a great tool, but one day, the power one accumulates always finds a way to turn back on you. Should such a day come for me, so long as you're around. Ah, oh, never mind. Hey, darling, would you like to try one of my magic potions? There's no knowing what it will do to you until you try it, though. Don't say I didn't warn you. <sighs> the interrogation room upstairs has sat there unused for two years now. It would be a much more lively place if Hertha would agree to let me use it as my private workshop. <sighs> She's such a spoil sport. I like making my own vegetable soup. I put a big bunch of vegetables into a cauldron and stir it with a long spoon. What does it taste like? Here, why don't you try it for yourself? Open wide. I suffer from extreme pumpkin phobia. The fall harvest is a difficult time of year for me, as you can imagine. I wonder if it will be worth the trouble to make all the pumpkins in the world disappear. Well, aren't you just the sweetest? Thanks, cutie. You just made my day. <laughs> You've really got a knack for this, haven't you? Ugh. Oh my, this is really... Huh. Here, take this amulet. It will bring you good luck. It's my birthday gift to you. I spent a long time making it, so don't lose it now. Surely you don't want me working overtime. That would be no good. Chances to practice should be left to you newcomers, no? <laughs> if I were to recover my full power, who knows what kind of things might happen. I've already tried to persuade you every way possible. <sighs> Have it your way, cutie. I can no longer go on pretending at this point. Even a hilly churl would see through the act. So be it. Let me introduce you to the true witch of Purple Rose. <laughs>